Warning, the video you're about to see is adult in nature. If you're under 18, avoid this video. If you do not want to see the adult in nature part, use my timestamps below. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Place Divinity Original Sin 2 Defend Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fantase Divinity Original Sin 2 Defend Edition video. We're back on the Lay Vengeance. This time we're gonna be romancing Loche, talk to some more people, and finally we're going to ARCs. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 videos just like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so you update and more. We'll be talking to plenty of NPCs in this video, get their stories going after what happened with the Nameless Island, so let's get this started. I will not fade. The sun shall find me. She will set her loved one free. Well, the Red Prince did have some interesting things to say, so I'm going to go look around the ship and talk to some more people, including more uh, spirits, so let's talk to this kid. Not many things I can fetch around here, but who cares, eh? Look at this place! Fane is busy scribbling in his ephemeral notebook. This is a really uh, cool spirit, Fane. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't take him with us. There's no sixth party I would have taken him. Probably the dwarf left Red Prince behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and talk to uh, Beast. Yeah, that'll be the next spirit I'm going to speak to. Then I'll tell everybody what's going on next. People are going to perish. People are going to die and I can't stop it. She'll do it now. She'll never stop. She'll never stop. I'm going to talk to one, two more NPCs. After that, I'm going to talk to Losha. There'll be romance in that part. So I'm going to let that all go on. I'll return after. All this commotion hasn't made it any easier for me to restore Anathema. The fewer distractions, the better. My efforts continue. I must admit it's quite an intricate piece to work with, even for someone like myself. I remain confident of success, though. I'm glad I didn't step ashore on that island with you, sorcerer. That place is a pyre. The Order. My comrades, I don't regret leaving with Almira, but I did swear an oath. I hear Bishop Alexander made it to the island with some followers. What came of him? No loss. The Divine Order grew weak and divided under his stewardship. Perhaps if it survives, it can come back stronger. I thought you'd forgotten about me, darling. How goes your little endeavor? Almira gives you a devilish grin and traces her finger along your forearm. I had a feeling you'd be one to watch, my dear. I'm glad to hear my faith wasn't misplaced. The day was lost, and no one won. Divinity is still up for grabs. Will you be the one to grab it? I do so wonder. Not but the demon I'm hunting. A trivial task, really, compared to your current pursuits of divinity. I did. She's quite graciously taking us to demon-haunted arcs. Our pursuits align and continue. Not right now. Come back later. After all that's just happened, life, every flawed morsel of it, seems more precious to you than ever. You look around at those who have accompanied you so far. In each one, Something unique shines through. Divinity has eluded you so far, but humanity... Humanity beats strong within you, here and now. Who knows what lies ahead for you, for your companions? Your quest failed. The void is growing stronger, and the hall is dark. You feel the need for some affection. Perhaps they feel it, too. Alone? Together? You... And me. I love that. Lead the way, Chief. 
As you move to go below decks, the live wood creaks and groans. The steps you thought you knew lead you to a part of the ship you've never seen before, a newly carved nook that smells of resin and wood chips. Touching the wall beneath your fingers, the live wood hums at your touch. You understand that the Lady Vengeance has carved this space for you, in gratitude for your help. You enter and feel the presence of the ship recede, offering you the total privacy of a moment alone with your companion, the first moment you have been truly alone together. Would you get a load of this place? She saunters around the room, inspecting it like she plans to move in. She tosses her head over her shoulder and calls out to you in an affected tone. I suppose it will do, darling. Her face cracks into a smile, then a laugh. <laughs> so, what should we do? Wait, don't answer that. She digs into her pack, skipping over to you, and sits on the ground at your feet, then tugs your hand for you to sit on the ground too. She sets an empty bottle on the ground between you and looks at you impishly. Let's play a game. It's called Spout's Choice. We each take a turn spinning this here bottle, and whoever the spout points to, well, I'll explain that part when we get there. You can go first. She takes your hand and places it on the bottle, on its side between you. Go on, spin. The bottle swishes in circles as it spins. Losa watches it intently as it lands, pointing directly at her. She smiles and blushes. Well, in this game, you're meant to plant one on whoever the bottle lands on. She flutters her eyelashes in exaggerated coquettishness, her blush deepening. She kisses you back, gently, more gently than you expected, then leans away, flushed with colour. My. <clears throat> My turn. She spins the bottle and it twirls and twirls, and comes to a rest, pointing into a no-man's land to the left of your knee. She doesn't lift her eyes from the bottle, but quickly corrects it to face you. She looks up then, drawing an arc with her eyes from the bottle's tip to your gaze. Her dark eyes are deeper, lusher than ever before. Hey, Chief. She crawls across the space between you and climbs into your lap, wrapping her legs around you. She melts into you and nuzzles her face into the crook of your neck. Her body is warm, warmer than it should be, her weight comforting and solid against you. She speaks into your neck, her lips brushing against your skin. Chief. Look, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out. I don't know if we'll find Dallas. I don't know which one of us is going to, you know... All the stuff they say we'll do. I don't even know if I'm still going to be myself much longer. But I do know that I'm happier now than I've ever been in my life. You make me feel like... Like I have a voice. Like I'm not just a host. Like I'm a real person. I need to tell you something. The thing is, I... Well, you know, when two people get to know each other pretty well... It's just, I... I... I love you. Suddenly, you feel the thud, thud, thud of her heart hammering against her chest and into yours. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. One tear streams out of the corner of her eye as she breaks into a fit of laughter and throws herself forward, knocking you to the ground, her whole body wrapped around yours. Oh, I've wanted you for so long. I've wanted you like this for so long. 
She grins and takes your chin softly in her hand, parting your lips. She comes close to your mouth, so close, then licks your lips once, twice, and kisses you softly, soft as your first time, then harder, deeper, her tongue swirling around yours. She tugs at your clothes and growls in your ear. Get these off. She nips and kisses newly exposed flesh all over your body, running her mouth from your neck to your belly button, down to your shins, up to your thighs. Oh, that is one beautiful man. She sits up on her knees, still straddling your hips, and shimmies out of every last article of clothing. Her body is smooth and soft, flesh dipping generously beneath your hands. You could take handful after handful of her and never have enough. Here I am, all of me, and I want all of you. She moves her body slowly, slowly, slowly over yours, until you are one person, the surprise of it, the perfection of it making you both gasp. She moves in small circles, your bodies joined like they were made for each other, like they were never meant to be apart. Oh, you're perfect. You're perfect. She covers your hands with hers, guides them to places that make her exhale sharply, her eyelids fluttering. She keeps a gentle pace, then begins moving faster, harder, sweat glistening on her collarbone. Like this? <sighs> she keeps the pace, her eyes locked with yours, a half-drugged smile on her lips. This is it. This is my cure. You're my cure. You are one in the night, one great beautiful being, your bodies aching with desire where they touch, your mind ablaze, your souls entwined, growing great, greater, greater, greater. How could I have gone this long without you? In this infinite moment, it feels you'll never be apart again. Losa yawns and stretches, arching her whole body like a cat. She folds into you, her head on your chest, arm draped around your body. I'm gonna love you for the rest of my life, you know. However long that is. Even if I have morning breath. Even if a demon eats my whole brain. Even if I hog all the blankets in the night and I'm not even sorry. She holds you tighter and kisses your chest where your heart is. So, I guess we should get back out there. Save the realm, stop the void, blah, blah, blah. She runs a finger up your torso, making you jump. We get out of this thing alive, there'll be plenty more where that came from. She plants a quick kiss on your lips and a bite on your neck. Let's get out of here, Chief. That romance with Loesch was well worth it. Also well worth getting the attitude with her up there. Now, you could also could have chosen Sibyl or Ifan if you didn't like Loesch at all. And I think you also could choose the other three, too, if you picked them instead of the uh, three I picked. So, if you like romances, this was well worth it. So, next part, we're going to speak with my lady, get some more information, advance the story. After that, it'll be a nice cut scene. We'll arrive at Ark. So, here we go. Take whatever time you need to gather yourself, my friend. When you are ready, we can proceed. Yes, I am sorry. She had me built to her exact designs. 
Not even I know all the ways in which she can control me. She was able to follow my wake like a shark. But I will see myself destroyed rather than be forced to betray you again. I swear. It shall be done. Malady's face is drawn. She seems tired, somewhat subdued. She looks you over and squints. What's wrong with you? You seem... happy. Well, well, well. And does the object of your affection feel the same about you? A smirk curls across her face. Good for you, darling. We could all use a little good news about now, couldn't we? What comes next will be... Well, it'll be up to you how it will be. I've had some time to think, and there's a few matters I want to discuss before we carry on. I doubt you've forgotten the death of Meister Siva. She swallows hard and closes her eyes for a moment, as though trying to dispel a dizzy spell. She and I had a deal, you see. A deal that's now quite obviously defunct. According to its terms, I was to help you ascend to divinity, and she was to help me with... another matter. The details aren't important now, it's just... Never mind. Another entangling alliance. But I won't be able to disentangle it on my own. There may come a time when I need to count on you as an ally. So, are we? Allies, that is. I'm glad to hear you say that. We do make quite the team, don't we? I found out where Dallas is heading. There's a great city not far from Driftwood, Arx by name. It's controlled by Magisters, so you'll have your work cut out for you. We have to find out what she's planning to do with the powers of the Seven. You'll need to find her and take back what she stole, and quickly, before she does something irreversible. Dallas, or any of the others for that matter, cannot be allowed to use the powers of the gods. She doesn't understand what must be done. She doesn't understand how to rule. It's quite simple, really. Chaos is a fact of life, surer than any other. Power is one of the few structures that can cut a line through that chaos. If wielded well, that line will mean stability, order, a comfort against the unknowable, changing forces of chaos. If wielded poorly, the line will mean domination, terror, different from chaos, but no better. Dallas, and the others like her, Alexander, the Mother Tree, the Prince of Shadows, they are little better than demons, really. They seek power at the expense of others, not to create stability, but to create servants. Look at my face, Godwoken. What do you see? I suppose we all see what we want to see. When I look in the mirror, I see balance. Balance between darkness and light, between good and evil. Whatever those categories mean. When the time comes for you to ascend, remember my face. Remember that despite any shortcomings you might have, if you can bring a semblance of balance to the world, you'll have done as good as the Seven did. And if you can be stronger than them, you'll do all the better. The Seven are gone, slain by their god Woken, slain by you. You have the potential, the obligation even, to do better than they did, to create a better world than the world they made. I know what evil is, god Woken. I've seen what chaos can do. It isn't how I picture Rivalon's future. You are my insurance against that. Now, there's little time to spare. We need to get you to Arx, find Dallas, take back what she stole. 
Shall we go? Very good. How lucky for you I'm on your side. I'm probably the only one masterful enough to transport an entire ship safely between the land of the dead and the land of the living. Captain Malady stands at the ready. After the briefest moment of respite, Malady brought the Godwoken to Arx to recover the divine powers Dallas had snatched away. But the half-demon's secret was taking its toll on her. Oh, oh, Lucian's fools! The bus is going to ruin everything! Freeze! 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 Don't say anything. Malady groans, her face twisting in pain. She falls to one knee, catching herself on her hands. She raises one hand and raises herself to her feet. Now, now, no need to fuss, I'll be fine. It's just that traveling between the realms isn't easy, you know. It takes something from my soul each time. But never you fear, I've pulled a clever trick out of my sleeve. The Lady Vengeance stands in two realms at once. A body here, a soul in the Hall of Echoes. You can still return at your leisure. At least I got us where we wanted to go. This is Arx. This is where Dallas has fled with the powers of the gods. This is where the path to divinity leads. Dallas must be stopped. She has stolen the powers of the Seven. You'll need to get the Aetirin back if you're to fight the God King. You'll need it if you're to ascend. Track her in Arx. Find out where she's gone and end her. Take back the Aetirin and the powers of the gods with it. You cannot fail, Godwoken. Not for anything. Hey, Chief. Before we get a move on, I'd like a word with Malady. You mind? Psst. Hey, Mal's. I'm not, you know, feeling so hot. I should think not. The demon is getting closer to himself. You'll meet him in Ark soon enough, and if you meet him like this, it's bye-bye Losa. Um... We won't let that happen, will we? I've got a little something cooking. There's power in names, after all. And we know exactly who a drama leak is. Don't worry. I'll find you before it's too late. Demon's honor. The squirrel bows solemnly to the crashed Lady Vengeance. I'm growing soft, aren't I? Big ol' oops, we crashed the Lay Vengeance here, and now we're at Ark, so only way is now forward from here on out, so here's a recap of today's video. I talked to my uh, people on the ship, including some of the spirits I didn't pick from the start of the uh, game. I romanced Loge, it was well worth it. I spoke with my lady, and we have arrived in Ark's in style. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and explore this new land. This is it for my Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 content like this. If you do like what you see, check out the upper right hand corner videos for my suggestion on the lower right hand corner for a video suggestion from YouTube. Thank you for watching everyone and have a wonderful day or night.